the flashing lights november update just went live on steam we're going to take a look at the new changes to the game uh first let's read this little developer blog so the november update is live multiplayer npc traffic makes its debut which is apparently been one of the highest requested features uh to have traffic in multiplayer sessions ai traffic it is uh also the ability to perform traffic stops in multiplayer as well as the defibrillator for the ems department a new piece of equipment which is accessible in both single and multiplayer making use of the new defibrillator and heart scanner as well as the ability to perform cpr injured npcs now in multiple injured states requiring various different responses so i think with that there's some new ems call outs we're going to take a look at coming in the month of december we've got speed update including road specific speed zones speeding tickets and street speed signs for the full list of changes you can now uh i'll link the the dev blog and you can take a look at it yourself we're gonna hop into the game and check it out all right we're arriving on scene here looks like we've got a male in the middle of the road side of the road what we can what we can do is uh let's flip around here i'm gonna get on this side so we have access to everything right there without running them over perfect put the parking brake on all right so what we're gonna do is inspect them uh we might have to use the defibrillator on them just depending on what his status is. It's gonna be okay, sir. I got gotcha. you. So we're gonna do an inspection here. Might have to remove his clothes too. I believe that's a new option as well for EMS. Perform CPR. All right, absolutely. So we need to remove his clothes to see his chest. So we, <laughs> there we go. And let's do CPR. It's gonna be okay, sir. All right, now we're gonna grab the defibrillator out to check his heart rate. This is the new piece of equipment. It's under technical in the menu. This is what it looks like. You can see the shock pads on the side. All right. So what we're gonna do is go ahead and put the weeds on. So go right there and right there. Okay. And right there looks like if you have depth of field on it kind of blurs us out don't know if that's a glitch or not okay so he's got a heart rhythm don't need to uh, shock him or anything if he did we could continue on so we're gonna go ahead uh, grab the stretcher now put some of this back here Oh, we got to disconnect the leads first. Makes sense. So we're going to remove everything. Put this back up. All right, sir. Get him on the stretcher and he's going to be transported to the hospital. So he was involved in this car accident. We had to perform CPR on him, and now he's going to be transported to the local hospital. All right, I think the fastest way actually might be back this way. It's going to be a code three response back to the hospital. We want to get in there as soon as possible. Well, this is awkward. I was transporting him back, and I actually got stuck on the guardrail here. Essentially, what you do is just transport him back to the hospital like any other EMS callout, and then uh, you get your... EMS points 
So that's going to conclude today's short update video on flashing lights for the November content update. I'm thinking about doing a stream on the Twitch channel first three zero minutes with M or flashing lights multiplayer. So that could either go great or go terribly wrong. So uh, I think I'll do that this coming Monday. Thank you guys for watching. Let me know what you think of this update. And I'll see you guys on the next video.